Well, as states across the country reopen, community leaders are working hard to save both lives and livelihoods. Joining us now to weigh in on the reopening of the capital city of Minnesota is St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter. Mayor Carter, thank you so much for being with us today. And we know that Minnesota lifts that stay-at-home order on Monday. The Mall of America is reopening June 1st. So tell us how you plan to reopen St. Paul back up for business during these times. That's exactly right. Thank you very much for having me on. Uh, we are pleased to be able to start lifting that stay at home order. Minnesota's fortunate. We have a governor in uh, Governor Tim Waltz uh, who took strong actions early to protect our state. Uh, and that means we were able to slow the spread a bit uh, while our healthcare professionals worked to boost both testing and treatment capacity. It also means that we're going to be lifting this stay at home order at a time where we likely haven't seen yet our peak caseload. Uh, and so uh, as we kind of start to go back to work, as we start to kind of go back out of the house, uh, we know that masks and social distancing are definitely going to be in our future for uh, quite a while. What about the economic strain, Mayor, that COVID-19 has had specifically on your St. Paul residents? What are you doing to combat that? Uh, that's a critical question. We know uh, there's a physical medical virus. But there's also an economic virus. The Fed reported this week that 40 percent of families uh, who earn less than forty thousand dollars a year lost their job in March. Uh, so we have a devastating toll in terms of families who can't figure out how to pay the rent, who can't figure out uh, how to feed, how to just raise some money and uh, feed their children, have no opportunity to earn a living. And so, you know, we started early. The first step we took. Uh, was suspending water shutoffs so every family can afford to wash their hands. Uh, we created a, a, a fund called the St. Paul Bridge Fund uh, that provided emergency assistance to low-income families and our smallest, most vulnerable businesses. Uh, that's something that's been important work for us. And, Mayor, we know that we've reported on this. Some of the largest disparities of COVID-19 have involved race and ethnicity. Can you talk about the impact COVID-19 has had on communities of color there in St. Paul? Uh, that's right. Thank you very much. That's so critical. My grandmother used to say uh, that when America catches the cold, black America catches the flu. Uh, and we're certainly seeing that play out right now. Uh, we've set up a language resource line to provide support to families uh, in a half a dozen different languages. And I think one of the most critical things that we're doing is bringing people together. We've already had three digital roundtables where we've brought together leaders in our communities of color. Because, you, as you know, uh, if the mayor says do something or don't do something or be, pay attention to something, uh, some people listen. But if our local pastors and our local community organi organizations uh, and community leaders uh, are all saying that together in person, they're saying it at church, they're saying it on social media, uh, hopefully people will listen in a, in a different way. Yeah, we can certainly hope that indeed. And I want to ask you this, Mayor, because is St. Paul getting the federal assistance, the federal support that it needs in terms of financial recovery? No, we're not. And I appreciate you asking that question. The CARES Act provided uh, resources for uh, direct resources uh, for municipalities with over 500,000 population. We're a city just over 300,000 population, but we haven't received one single dollar in federal aid uh, to address some of those general fund needs right now. Uh, and that's a challenge for us. Uh, you know, as we face these kind of uh, uh, additional challenges, that's a challenge not just for us, but for cities around the country. And we need action in Washington, D.C. to do something about it. Now, we know that you are fighting for your community each and every day. Mayor Melvin Carter, thank you so much for being with us today. We certainly wish you the best. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.